John, uh, you got a chance to work with Mac Jones throughout the entire offseason. How much confidence do you have in just him being able to always get you the ball on time and just allow you to do your thing on the field? Um, I got full confidence in Mac when it comes to um, us executing on the field, especially, like you said, because of all the time that we've put in in the offseason and all the um, work that we've done together to get to this point. Yeah, you caught a few of the deep balls on Saturday. What do you, what do you see when the, that ball's in the air? What's what's it like when, when Mac throws it deep to you? Um, I would say that it's just like routine. It's just practice. It's like any other pass that we've um, done hundreds of times over in practice, and it's all about focus. John Zener, you're up. Yeah, hey, along those same lines, how – Accurate is he typically on the deep ball? And and we've all seen guys, when a receiver's wide open, they get the adrenaline, they get that flow, and they overthrow him by five yards. He, he seems to remain calm and, and hits you guys pretty accurately. Uh, how, how, um, how accurate, how good is his deep throw? I would say his deep throw, <clears throat> I would say his deep throw is really good. Um, I think he's extremely confident in what he does, and I'm extremely confident in what he does. Um, and at the end of the day, it's just all about us doing our jobs. Tony Sakalis, over to you. Hey, talking about Max, kind of mental makeup. When he does make a mistake, what is he like in the in the huddle, and how how much better has he been at kind of shaking off some of those errors than he has been maybe in the past? Um, I wouldn't say Mac makes many mistakes, but I would say um, it's all about focusing on the play at hand um, and focusing about now and the next play. Charlie Potter, go ahead. Hey, John, just for you, how much more comfortable are you in year two after playing a lot as a true freshman last year? Um, I would say I'm a lot more com comfortable because of the guys that I had to um, learn from, the guys in our class that we have this year and the guys in our room that we had last year, um, just learning from all of them and um, being able to practice with them has made me a lot more comfortable for now. Edward Stanton, you're up. Hey, John, a lot of big plays in this offense with you a couple of this past weekend. What do those big plays do for this offense and what kind of confidence does that give y'all? Um, I think that just, to me, it's just all about helping, being able to help the team win, um, being able to do my job to help us um, win at the end of the day. Well, Tree, go ahead. Yeah, John, we, we've heard about Mac from last year, uh, just about how he's an emotional player and he can be goofy at times with the Joker nickname. What's your relationship like with him? And is there something about him that maybe we haven't heard as much about? Um, I think y'all have heard pretty much everything about him. I think I have a great relationship with him, as do all the other um, receivers. I think um, Mac is a great leader and does a great job of leading the offense. Back over to Tony Sakalas. Uh, you know, some of the some of the former receivers kind of talked about that. The guys in the NFL were kind of talking about the rideouts are still existing. How how great is it for you to? to kind of show your skills and, and to show that Alabama hasn't dropped off at the wide receiver position. Did you see any of those, uh, and, and, and did you see any of those comments from the, the NFL guys as well? Um, yeah, I think I saw, I think I saw some from like Ruggs and Jew and them. And I think it's all about playing to our standard at the end of the day. And that's what the ride outs is. It's just, um, playing to the standard that the guys who have come before have set. Over to Tyler, Tyler Waltrip. Hey, I just wanted to ask, I mean, how good did it feel, you know, after the game's over? I'm, I'm sure you heard from probably friends and family. What, what was that like? But then also, after that first touchdown, does, does that kind of give you something? Do you feel like that kind of propelled you to have more success later in the game, that first score? Um, I would say that the first touchdown was just – uh, good play calling and good execution of the play. I really wouldn't say it kind of did anything to me, but I would say that um, it gave me more confidence to know that I can contribute to help the team win. 
Back over to Stephen Smith. John, uh, Jalen Waddle said you have very sneaky speed. Just wanted to know, uh, where did that <laughs> develop, or how did you develop that sneaky speed you have? Um, I think that's just uh, natural and genetic. Um, I don't think everybody can be like Waddle and be extremely fast, um, which is super unfair. But um, I think I got something, too. We'll finish up with Charlie Potter, unless there are any other questions. Hey, John, just what did you focus on this offseason, knowing that you're going to take on a more uh, expanded role this year? What were some of the things that you tried to, to hone in on? Everything. I think um, at the end of the day, there's always something to get better at. And um, I think there's everything to get better at, especially at this stage and this level. Um, I think the biggest thing was just understanding the playbook, um, understanding what um, coaches were trying to do and what we're trying to do as an offense. All right, thank you, John. We'll go ahead, hang tight, and we'll bring up the next player.